Hello, you're watching Hornwell TV's Northeast Express. Violence continues to Ma Manipur as hope for normalcy to return was once again disrupted by fresh violence at Kutrok in Imphal West District on Sunday. Two persons died and at least four persons sustained injuries when suspected cookie militants started unprovoked firing around 2 p.m. at noon. According to Kothrook Village Gram Panchayat Chairman, the attack was made when village volunteers were away from the vulnerable areas. The deceased person has been identified as 33-year-old Surbala Devi from Payeng, Umang Lekai. She was rushed to Rims Hospital, Imphal, where she was declared dead on arrival. Her 13-year-old daughter, NG Rojia, also suffered injuries on her right hand and is currently receiving treatment at the same hospital. Meanwhile, one police personnel was injured on his leg and other two other persons were taken to Rajmed City Hospital. गांव कंट्रोल है ये भयंकर ग्राम पंचायत के जगह में है ये सदुल कास का मिले से ये दो बजे में ये बम ने शुरू किया वो वो कुकी लोग ने वो सब उसका वो लड़के है ना भयंकर से घूमने के लिए गया उसके उसके घर वो उसके बच्चे के साथ घूमने के लिए गया उसका घर है इसलिए इस टाइम में वो बम ने इतने किया इसलिए उधर बम और गन के साथ उसके बाद वो उसके हेड में बुलेट इंजरी हो गया उसमें लग गया उसके नाम शुरबला है तो अभी वहाँ पे कोई सिक्योरिटी से सिक्योरिटी नहीं है या कोई बुलेट तो कुछ नहीं वो सिक्योरिटी तो है शहर भी अभी है कुछ नहीं करता है वो लोग देख कर क्या सही सही अभी क्या करना चाहिए अभी ये हालत बहुत खराब है ये मेरा गांव है Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Sa on Monday claimed that some elements are actively working to tarnish the image of the government and attempts are being made to create tension. Speaking to the reporters after a blood donation camp at Jackson Gate area and replying to a question regarding the back-to-back -back incidents of attacks on temples in various parts of the state, the CM said he had instructed the police to take stringent action. He also stated that the police have taken prompt action and shall definitely combat such nefarious attempts both socially and politically. Stating that there is a section which doesn't want peace in Tripura, Dr. Saha said Tripura has been a peaceful state all along. Development and peace are going hand in hand. <laughs> एवं विभिन्न भावे खबर नेवारों में चेष्टा करते हैं सामाजिक भावे हो एवं राजनीतिक भावे हो हम राष्ट्रीय गुरु मुख्य वेला उच्चे एवं आगरू दिनों को इगुरो हमें करों अनेक जगह ठीक है इधर ने 
এত সুন্দরভাবে এই সরকার চলছে রাজ্যটা এত শান্তি মাধ্যমে চলছে সেটা অনেকের কাছে এটা হয়তো বা এটা ভালো লাগছে না তো আমরা সেই জায়গার মধ্যে দাঁড়িয়ে এই ধরনের ঘটনা আমি অনুরোধ করব যারা যাদের কারণে যাদের মাধ্যমে এইগুলো করানোর চেষ্টা করছে তারা এর থেকে যেন বিরত থাকে Tripura police on Monday arrested three Bangladeshi nationals for entering the Indian territory unlawfully. All the three accused persons reportedly hail from Cox's Bazaar area. Speaking on the issue, OC West Agartala Police Station Paritosh Das said a Bangladeshi national was detained on August 29th from Lanka Mura area. He was produced before the court and subsequently sent to the police remand. Based on his testimonies, two more persons were arrested from the city centre area. Investigation of this case led to three more persons who had just crossed the borders on Monday. They had been arrested from the RMS Chao Mohani area shortly after they entered the country. The arrested persons have been identified as Tasmin, Imran and Jasit. During initial questioning, they didn't disclose anything but they have violated the border laws as they could not furnish valid documents that allowed them to enter India. Das said adding that they would be produced before the court later on Monday afternoon. Uh, 29th August uh, 2024, Alam Khamura Bangladesh of Britain Kiata, is the name of Sumuni. On the basis of this, I'm looking at case Kiata, case West Australia, case the number 103 of the 2024. Police Shiman, here, Kuch Admika Nam Bataya, Joe in Kasa, Bangladesh, Indiana, Provost, Indiana, without any valid document. On the basis of this confessional statement, I'm looking at Joe Admiko Pagaliata, Abibi, Riman Peha. उन लोगों को इंटरव्यूशन करने के बाद आरोप और तीन आदमी को हम लोग कल अरेस्ट किया है तीनों बांग्लादेशी हैं और फॉक्स बाजार से इंडिया में आए हैं उनका नाम है तस्लीम इमरान एंड जस्टिस Four persons from Dimapur Nagaland have been arrested in connection with an assault and robbery case in Meghalaya's Reboy The arrested persons have been identified as 25 year old Bokavi Jumomi a resident of veterinary colony Burma Camp 32-year-old Pashan Lam, a resident of Urban House Block 2, Burma Camp, 18-year-old Rokungule Kepu, a resident of Rail Bazaar and Salipi, also from Dimapur. The accused reportedly assaulted the manager and staff of Umran Fuel Petrol Pump at Umran Nengbirnai in Reboy during the VRs of August 25th. They also stole cash amounting to Rs 4 lakh 24,614 along with three mobile phones. A case was registered at Umsning Police Station and the three of the four accused were nabbed on September 1 from Dimapur Nagaland. During the preliminary interrogation, they admitted to the crime. The arrested persons are being produced in the district court with prayer for five days police remand. Meanwhile, the fourth accused identified as Sali P has also been detained by Twensang District Police and a team of Reboy Police is on the way to bring the culprit. He will also be produced in court. The Bolero vehicle bearing registered registration number NL07CB0156, which was used by the gang in the robbery case, has also been seized. General Secretary of BJP Tripura Pradesh, Bhartia Janta Party, Bhagavan Das on Sunday warned of stern action against those who were trying to break the discipline of the party. Speaking to media persons at the BJP state headquarters, Das said one of the senior functionaries of the party had been suspended for playing an instrumental role in creating trouble. He referred to the recent agitation by party workers in different areas after the names of panchayat chiefs and deputy chiefs were announced. He said the state leadership took the decision based on the feedback from the ground and district leadership was involved in the decision-making process. Those who had been trying to defy the party's decisions are actually working against the party and the state leadership will consider these issues very seriously, he added. <laughs> भारतीय जनता सत्तर समाप्त हुआ दिनांक एक दिसंबर को चाहे निर्वाचन जे निर्वाचन ग्रामीण इलाका चुनाव के ग्रुप तो पूर्ण निर्वाचन हमरा आया कुछ भागी छोटा डेट प्राप्त किए थे जब वो हमारे प्राप्त किए जो यह है जैसे वो हमारा शेष प्रबंधों 
विश्लेषण प्रतिक्रिया दलस्था मिलिटेंट They were, however, pushed back towards nearby hill areas of Kangpokpi district by security forces, police said. May be mentioned, the militants had earlier started firing indiscriminately from their positions at hill tops from 2:30 p.m. towards the low-lying valley areas of Kothrok and adjoining Kadang Bandh, and managed to reach outskirts of Kothrok village. Five houses were burnt by the militants after they were found abandoned. The residents had fled after the gun and bomb attack. Village volunteers and security forces deployed at the area retaliated, but were initially outgunned and outnumbered. But with the arrival of security reinforcements, the militants were back to the hills later at night. Kutruk, located at some 18 kilometers from state capital Imphal, has witnessed several gun and bomb attacks since violence broke out in May last year. Meanwhile, Manipur police confirmed the employment of rocket-propelled grenades using drones in the attack. In an official statement about the gun and bomb attack at Kothrok, police informed the alleged Kuki militants deployed numerous RPGs using high-tech drones. While drone bombs have commonly been used in general warfare, this recent development of drones to deploy explosives against security forces and the civilians marks a significant escalation. The involvement of highly trained professionals, possibly with technical expertise and support, cannot be ruled out. Authorities are closely monitoring the situation, and the police are prepared to respond to any contingency. That mayor Rice, it said, while appealing to the general public to maintain restraint, it also informed that combing operations are ongoing to flush out any inimical elements. Three smugglers were arrested with yaba tablets worth rupees 30 crore in Jalalpur area of Badarpur constituency under Karimganj district of Assam on Sunday evening. According to police the drugs were brought in a secret chamber of a Creta vehicle from neighboring Mizoram the SP of Karimganj Partha Pratim Das led a raid in Jalalpur on NH6 in Badarpur on the tip off and the drugs consisting of 100000 yaba tablets were seized from the luxury vehicle after an hour long raid police arrested the prime accused identified as Ashraf Ali Abdul Hanan and Pradeep Das they were planning to smuggle the tablets from Mizoram to Patharkandi police are investigating further into who else is involved in the trafficking इनपुट मिला था सीक्रेट इनपुट आइजोल की तरफ से पठरकंडी साइड में एक क्रेटा गाड़ी जिसका नंबर है ए एस जीरो वन डी एल वन फाइव वन जीरो उसमें याबा टेबलेट कैरी करने का इन्फॉर्मेशन था उसी हिसाब से हमने जलालपुर में एक नाका सेटअप किया और गाड़ी इंटरसेप्ट करने के बाद गाड़ी का जो बैक साइड का राइट टायर है उसके ऊपर एक सीक्रेट चैम्बर था थोड़ोली सर्च करने के बाद हमें वन लाख याबा टेबलेट बरामद हुआ और उसमें तीन लोगों को हमने अरेस्ट किया है अशरफ अली अब्दुल हनान और प्रदीप दास रिपुन बोरा द फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द असम तृणमूल कांग्रेस एज एक्सप्लेन वाई रिजाइन फ्रॉम द टीएमसी 
Bora said that in 2022, he joined the TMC because he was impressed by the uncompromising leadership of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The way Mamta Banerjee had been fighting against the Bharatiya Janata Party in West Bengal, she was very successful in stopping the BJP, Bora said. He thought that the TMC platform could help intensify the fight against the BJP in Assam, but subsequently he experienced that the people of Assam were not inclined to accept TMC in Assam, Bora said. The people of Assam view TMC as a regional party of Bengal, he said. The people have very deep respect for Mamta Banerjee, but the people of Assam do not want to accept the TMC, he said. He decided that if he continues in the TMC, he will get no result and that it would be a waste of his time and energy, Bora said. You see, first uh, in 2022, I was uh, in Congress and I resigned Congress and joined TMC only because that I was very much impressed with the uh, uncompromising leadership of Mamata Banerjee. The way Mamata Banerjee had been fighting against BJP in West Bengal, and she has uh, uh, very successful in stopping uh, BJP in West Bengal. So uh, I uh, thought that in the same way from the platform of PC, um, TMC, we also in Assam, we can also uh, intensify the fight against the BJP and we can also stop BJP in Assam. So with this motive, sole motive, uh, I have joined TMC. But in the subsequent days, I have the experience that while uh, moving from every nook and corner of Assam, the I am uh, convinced that the people of Assam are very much um, uh, are not inclined, are not inclined at all to accept TMC in Assam. The people uh, is viewing TMC in a way that it is a regional party of Bengal. So why should we accept a regional party of another state in our own state? So the people, no doubt people have very deep respect for Mamata Banerjee, but the TMC party, people of Assam, they do not want to accept the TMC. That is why I have decided, if the people do not accept it, then how we can intensify the fight against BJP from TMC platform? So this is the ground reality. This is the ground reality, and then I decided that if I continue in TMC, only I will get no result. Only this is wastage of my time and energy. And rather, uh, I decided that I should, since the people of Assam, they do not want, they do not w want to accept a TMC. So therefore, I decided that in honoring the sentiment of people of Assam, I decided to resign from TMC. So uh, you had tried to make a uh, stronghold of the TMC organization in Assam also, and uh, you have contacted the members to drive across the state. So apart from the, you, uh, the other uh, leaders of the state and uh, uh, senior members also uh, resigned from the party? Yes, um, lots of um, leader, uh, senior leader from me, uh, with me, uh, they have resigned. For example, um, immediately, uh, because my decision I have taken recently, though I have been uh, examining whole things for months together, but the decision I have taken today, so some of my colleagues, namely um, um, Gajendra Prasad Upamanyu, Orup Juti Bhuya, Zulfikar Hussain, and then Ghanakanta Sutia, all the general secretary, and Gauri Shankar Saranya, one of our vice president, and the Tirnamul youth president, state youth president, Mehbu Bali, and some other secretaries like Raji Bali, Otul Dutta, etc., etc. The Manipur government has directed the state police to conduct combing operations and sanitization in areas bordering Imphal West district after two persons were killed and nine others injured in an attack by suspected militants. Commissioner Home and Ashok Kumar also asked the Director General of Police to take precautionary steps to arrest those involved in the gun and bomb attack which took place on September 1st and enhance vigil in the area in order to prevent any untoward incident. The 32-kilometer-long prox stretch between Kaithalmanbi in Kangpukpi district and Kutruk in Imphal West has been a focal point of consistent attacks since ethnic violence broke out in May last year. According to police, militants fired indiscriminately from hilltops to the low-lying valley areas of Kutruk and neighboring 
Kadang Ban on September 1, killing two persons and injuring nine others. Several houses were also damaged. The police claim that rocket propelled grenades and drones were used in the attack. An official statement about the gun and bomb attack said in an unprecedented attack in Kutruk Imphal West, alleged militants have deployed numerous RPGs using high tech drones. The use of drones to deploy explosives against security forces and civilian marks a significant escalation, it said. The involvement of highly trained professionals, possibly with technical expertise and support, cannot be ruled out, the statement said. The official told PTI that drones have been used in Manipur by two warring groups for surveillance and identifying movement of militants. The use of explosives through drones to target civilians and security forces at Kurtuk on Sunday is new in the state. Police sources said at least five bombs were dropped from drones in Kutruk village. And that was all for this hour's bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Onville TV.